All right, so this is going to be how to delete the CTL file on Cisco IP phones. Uh, so first, I guess, what is a CTL file? What's inside of that? Um, and why would you need to delete it? So the CTL file has some things in it that uh, pertain to your communication manager server, your TFTP server, um, where the phone goes to register and get its information from. Um, it has server certificates on it, uh, DNS name, IAP address for each server. And if you're making any changes to this, or maybe you're doing an upgrade and you're switching over hardware and maybe your IP address is changing, or if you're taking a phone that was previously registered to one communication manager cluster and you're going to be registering it to a new communication manager cluster, um, you'll, need to, you'll need to delete the CTL file before the phone will actually register uh, to the new server because it needs to get cleared out. So in order to do this, we go over to our phone. And each phone type is going to be a little bit different, but this is the gist of it. And this is uh, for all 7900 series phones. So if you have an 8900 series phone or a 9900 series phone, um, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit different, but uh, you know, pretty similar in the processing to follow. So first, go into the settings, and we're going to scroll down here to security configuration, and we'll select that, and then scroll down here to where you see CTL file, and we're going to select that. And now that we're inside of here, um, we need to erase it. So nine times out of 10, the phone's probably gonna be locked. So you need to do a star, star, pound. And it's gonna say settings are unlocked now. And what we wanna do is hit the erase button here. We hit the erase, it's erasing the CTL and ITL files. And that's it, now your phone should register to the new communication manager system or the upgraded system that you guys are doing. And that's it. Thanks.